Okay, here's a quick introduction into how to use the new uh, help desk remote control stuff that we're putting together. Uh, so when you're working the help desk or any time that you want to just sort of quickly remotely see what's going on on another user's machine uh, logged in as themselves, you can do that. So here I have two computers. This one over here on the left is my computer. That'll be the computer that the help desk tech is working. And the computer on the right is an end user machine that's called in. And I'll zoom in on this for a second so you can see it says end user computer. Uh, so what you'll do if you're on the help desk over here is you'll say, uh, okay, Mr. End user, can you go ahead and click down on your start button down in the bottom left corner? And they'll do it. And then you say select run. It's the uh, couple options up on the right hand side toward the bottom. And then type in the word help desk. And you can see I already tested it out here. Help desk. And you just say type it in, all one word. When you do that, you should see a black box come up on your screen. Oh yeah, I do see that. And in that black box, it's going to set some stuff up, and then in the middle of it, you'll see an IPv4 or IP address. Yeah, I see it right here. Okay, uh, can you read me off that number? And they'll read you off the number. So then over on your computer, what you've done to set up, and again, this is the help desk computer, is you've started up VNC Viewer. and there are several different ones available out there. I'm using Ultra right here. Okay, read that number off to me again and they tell it to you and you type in 10.1.1.71 and then the password is in the knowledge base and just like that, as simple as that over here on my help desk computer, I am remote controlling the computer that the end user is seeing. And not just remote controlling, but very quickly, very painlessly, we've um, talked to the end user through getting it so we don't have to offer assist and all of this kind of thing. Um, and then once you're done helping the end user, uh, if, if you do need to log in as a super user, at this point you can really easily get access to the IP address to remote control in. Um, to uh, RDC into the desktop and kick them off and log in. Uh, or a lot of times you can just fix it or show them what to, what to do really quickly and easily this way. And what I like to do is tell them, if you look down here in the bottom right hand corner, you see this yellow eye looking back at me. That means a tech is currently looking at what's going on. And then what I like to do is, okay, you see that yellow eye down there? You just um, select the batch file here, push space, and that yellow eye is going to go away and that kicks you off of the remote session. So, I select the application. It kicks me off and the end user is back. It's as simple as that. Very simple. Very easy to use. Uh, very easy for the end user to use too.